hello hello and welcome back to plans on planning here we are in my sorcia plana uh that was last week and the things we had to do there but here we are in this new week and we have to get it prepped up so i know last week i had that cute little winter theme going but I just still happens to come across flamingos this week and this really cool washi that I had that I haven't used. Actually, I haven't used both of them. And I said, you know, it's Florida flamingos, Florida flamingos. Let's do it. All right. So this washi is rather large and just may cover our letters, but I'm willing to make the sacrifice for it, to be very honest. And like I said, it's a brand new washi, so... Let's use it before the year's up. Hello. Oh my gosh, I have so many washies. If I took that like idea and method and feeling about my washi, you'd be like, what was that chick thinking at the end of the year? Like she was just all over the place. I'm serious. I have so many unused washi. It's crazy. Like I'm like a small little washi fiend. So I'll like go into like Joanne's michael's hob oh my gosh hobby lobby has some great washi and i'll just be like that washi's awesome i need it but then i get home and i'm like where the heck am i gonna put this i'm like i'll make space so there we go i told you it would cover the dates a little bit but i'm still happy i made the sacrifice to be very, very honest. So let's clean up the top of our pages. Bam. Bam. Now, I do this. We're cutting off the excess as opposed to trying to line it up in the direct corner and blah, blah, blah. Because it's freaking stressful please understand i mean i have a ton of washi and great that i could make the area even smaller that i'm cutting off but it's like this is all of my waste so it's worth it for my sanity to be very very honest so now when it comes to smaller washi like this yeah i can line it up in you know at the edge of the page without a problem but that big washi when you're doing banners and you know the top it's just like freaking murder been there done that bought the t-shirt i'm over it and not to mention this washi cuts pretty freaking great on top of it so if you did want to you know stress yourself out because i'm not even gonna lie to you it is stressful if you did want to stress yourself out and line everything up by the edge, you know, to the corner, to the top of the page, all that, please know that this washi is super easy to cut. So when you go ahead to cut your washi, it's not going to be like a crazy jagged line that you're trying to measure out. No, you're good. But like I said, it's stressful. And I got enough things weighing me down throughout the day, throughout the week that I don't need to be stressed out by my washi. So, hello. See, it's super easy to get it in this corner. Let me just be very, very honest with you. And I am going across the whole bottom of the page because I'm cool like that. Bam. See, it tears off really easy. I have a straight edge at the end of the day. So, if you didn't believe me, I just want to, you know, a little proof positive. That I wasn't lying. Because these washies are more paper. Because I know there are some of the washies that I got from um, Hobby Lobby, which are super cute by the way. Um, they have like a waxy finish to them. So it does make them a little bit on the difficult side to cut like straight with like your card. And it's better you know for your finished product if you were to like cut it like you know how I use with my scissors when I cut it much better and easier and you know, it's just easier on you let's just be honest it's just easier because I'm sure eventually it would tear but when is that eventually is a whole nother story 
but this one is a more paper washi so that's why it tears so easily and here we are now this week with the with the scissors with the stickers I will be honest I'm kind of just like in a real inspo mood so I just got like a little bit from a lot of places but anything that just you know, it was giving me positive vibes, to be honest. So it wasn't like, oh, I went to this sticker book and I found it. Actually, I went to a couple of sticker books and I found some things that, you know, just kind of made me happy, to be honest. Like this one here, a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. And I was just like, yes, I need that on my week coming up. Yes, I need that. So, therefore, we're using it. And I have this other one that says, Stay humble, work hard, be kind. See? I have this lovely one that says, Choose gratitude. Which, you know, sometimes we need to be reminded of that. Like, you know, we all go through tough times. And I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, you think you have it bad? Well, you know, there's homeless people out there. Like, your bad is your bad. Like, the situation you're going through and you're calling it bad, that's bad for you. And I'm not going to discount what anyone's feeling. You know, I do need a checklist, by the way. So, like I said, we all go through bad times and what we consider bad in our lives. Like, I'm not going to compare my bad to someone else to be like, oh, okay, well, maybe it's not that bad. No, that joint is bad for me. So, you know, acknowledge that, and I'm going to acknowledge that. Anyway, that's my little spiel for the day. All right, so let's get, ooh, wrong book. Let me get some more of my struggles. And I just want to add just a couple more. Because truthfully, I don't want to get, like, super crazy with it. And this this one here. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get it off the page. It says, have a thankful heart. Bam. I'm super crooked with that. Oh, gosh. Woo okay. Woo I thought for a minute I wasn't going to be able to get it up. Woo all right, let's line it up with the edge of the page. Much better, much, much better. You know how much I love my clear back stickers. Like, don't even get me started. I'm a huge fan of them. And then I do something like this and put a white sticker down. Today is the day. Bam. All right, so... Honestly speaking, I think I'm done. Like, for real. Like, you know, like, I just, I just have so much going on, good and bad, to be very honest. A little bit of good, a little bit of bad. But I just kind of want to do a simplicity thing right now. Or for the week coming up. So I'm not cluttered and bogged down because, like I said, I have enough going on already as it is, you know, work, personal life, you know, trying to create a thriving business and a thriving brand that I kind of just want to keep it nice and simple, a nice area for me to take some notes or write some ideas down. And just also, you know, my nice little checklist and some space to actually write what I need to write. And that's the point of it all right now for me. Because we're going, or we are, not even going, we are in the holiday season. And I feel like we're really in the thick of it. So it's like, it's about to get beyond crazy and beyond hectic. So let's just find a nice little place where we have some simplicity to rock it all out. But anyway. Enough of me talking, enough of me chatting. Let's enjoy what we've created. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to um, hit me up. You can leave a comment below. Do not forget to subscribe so you know. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you know when new videos are posted as well. 
Sorry, I don't remind you guys to do that often enough. Um, but if you don't feel comfortable um, leaving a message or a comment for the masses to see because it's something you know you want to ask, maybe it might be a little personal to you, you can definitely email me. Uh, my email is provided in the in you know right below the video or when you follow me on social media which that information is there as well you can go ahead and hit the send message and we get to chit chat in that way but in the meantime in between time later days bye guys